Hi Sagittarius, welcome to a bonus reading and this is for February 2023. You know guys always take what resonates and then always watch your Venus rising and moon sign readings for additional clarity. It's never going to completely resonate for each and every one of you so at any time you would like to for me to tune in to just your energy Bring that clarity, that guidance. Just click on the link below in the description box and it will take you right over to my Etsy shop. You can see all the variety of readings I offer over there. If for any reason you receive any communication that it says from me, guiding you to WhatsApp, leaving a phone number, asking you to purchase readings from me, do not engage in that. I am reporting them as they come, but obviously I have a scammer and hopefully YouTube, you know, takes care of it. Um, for those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. I do monthly giveaways, and for the month of February, for new and returning subscribers, I'm giving away three free love readings. Um, I'm going to randomly choose three people, but you need to be a subscriber and leave a heart emoji in the comment section of each reading you view of mine during the month of February. And then make sure your notifications are on for YouTube because I will be reaching out to you initially through there and then directing you to head over to my Etsy shop, clicking on the link and they'll say message shop owner and saying you're the one that won the free reading and then I'll reach out to you. All right guys, so let's get into your bonus reading. Eagle, you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. I'm getting air energy. And I just have to point out that I am an Eagles fan. So this is huge, even though I don't have Sagittarius in my chart. But you may have air energy in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But you're soaring towards your destiny. That's an amazing message. There, I see a rainbow right here. So do pay attention to rainbows. Way, one way of clarity, of uh, a synchronicity, spirit connecting to you. All right, and then Phoenix rising. Actually, three wanted to come out, so we'll take them. There we have a nine for Eagle. Phoenix rising, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. This could be even a spiritual awakening for some of you. And moon, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. I feel a big change coming your way for Sagittarius spirit. Sagittarius. Blessings. This is the best reading in this session that I've done so far. What else is coming towards Sagittarius in terms of love? Healing. A time of healing and rising. I love this. Okay, let's get into your reading. You may be dealing with an air sign. I love that phoenix rising. That just means you're, you're growing in so many ways. When you look back at, on the person you were six months, a year out, I guarantee you're not the same person. Knight of Swords definitely could be dealing with air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Some message coming in very quickly. Current situation. Three of Cups. A reason to celebrate. I feel like you see growth within a connection. A union with someone. And I feel like you're taking a leap of faith. This is going to be a blessing for you. There's a cardinal here. Actually, I just saw a cardinal this morning. There's a cardinal here. 
I feel like Archangel Metatron is popping up in your reading. That is a symbol of Archangel Metatron. But do pay attention to feathers and rainbows. What is the past energy for Sagittarius? King of Wands energy. Knowing what you want. Could be dealing with a Leo for some. Knowing you what you want. Being that leader that fire energy is. I feel like you're having your eye on a blessing. What does the future energy hold for my Sagittarians? All right. Look, coming out of being indecisive, making a move after a time of soul searching, coming out of that hanged man energy, I truly feel the phoenix is rising, Sagittarius. It's that light bulb going off in your mind. Taking action, taking that leap of faith towards something of abundance for you, of a ble blessing. What is the overall outcome? Okay, we'll take them. Yeah, see that romantic gesture. I feel like a connection is coming into your life where you feel very balanced. It's going to be an equal give and take. Um, peace and harmony. And I, I feel like it's all because you've worked hard on yourself. You've raised your energy. You've went through some serious changes. And now it's time for you to soar. I feel like you're being noticed. Could be a fellow fire sign. But I also see air here. See? There's that breakthrough. Why is the King of Wands the past energy spirit? Page of Cups coming out twice, the romantic gesture. For some of you, you may have Leo in your chart, but I feel like it, they could have Leo in their chart strongly. We have water, air, and fire here. Why the Four of Cups in reverse and the Hermit in the future? Seven of Swords. Look, I really feel like someone who may have broken your trust put you through some dark energy. Could have possibly been holding out how they truly felt about you with the moon here. This is all coming to light though. There is a breakthrough. I have Leo energy here. I have air energy. Virgo. Um, Cancer. This person is slowly making their way towards you with a confession. Why the Seven of Swords energy, Spirit? Why the Seven of Swords energy? Yeah, I feel like they knew this connection all the time. It just might have been something that was overwhelming for them. But there's growth here. Why the Page of Cups twice? Guys, for some of you, it's definitely a Libra. Libra or Aquarius, but air energy. You may have air in your chart. Why the Page of Cups with the Chariot for the future? They definitely have an abundant offer. And look at this, the Ten of Swords. It was a hard ending for you, Sagittarius. But with the Ten of Cups, it's like, yeah, you are their happiness. They're coming towards you knowing exactly what they want. I feel like they didn't, they weren't completely honest with you and how they felt. I feel like they might have tried to hold back their feelings for you. 
And like I said, it definitely could be a Libra. Kona. Baby. Kona. Kona. Good girl. Good girl, love bug. See, here's Libra energy. There's that air energy I'm talking about within one to two weeks or during the fall. September 22nd to October 21st. I'm sorry, guys. She's digging to get comfortable. She's basically telling me um, last reading. Let's go. For those of you that don't know, I keep my puppy in the room with me when I do these readings to give my other two grown dogs um, some time away from her because she's a lot of energy. She's a pit bull lab mix. So she is all over the place from the minute she opens her eyes to the minute we force her to close her eyes to the minute that we make her go to bed. I just got to give them a break. So she's basically telling me enough. Final reading. All right. See, you've definitely felt some stress and anxiety over this breakup. However, you've allowed that healing to occur. You've, you've raised that energy. You didn't stay in that devastating ending for yourself. You have risen up. And I feel like this person is definitely noticing you. But not only do I feel like you've risen up, I feel like they have also. They've been some through some complete change in their life. And depending on what was going on in their life, because it's going to be different for each one of you, the Seven of Swords, I truly feel was not harmful intent. It was more like hiding how they really feel. But now they're like coming to grips with it. Now, instead of suffering in silence, they're going with their intuition. They're coming towards you. This is things coming to light. Blessings coming your way. This is an amazing reading. All right, anything else for my Sagittarians and this person? brand new beginning there may be in children involved like you may have a child or they may could be a meshing of family but there is that light bulb movement that has gone off in their life in their head but the raccoon here I really feel like they you know they had to be resourceful. I really feel that they weren't they weren't ready for what they were feeling. There were things that they still wanted to accomplish in their life. I feel like at a time where they met you, they weren't looking for a long term. I'm afraid this relationship is too good to be true, and I pull away in fear. Exactly. We are coming into union. We have 11, 11, 11. Definitely pay attention to 11, 11. All right. Anything else for Sagittarius and this person? I feel this chemistry between us. We need to trust that the energy we share will bring us together again. And with my watch going off, I definitely feel like there is communication coming in by way of text or maybe direct message for Sagittarius Spirit. A card of timing for this union. Thank you. Sooner than expected and happening now. So I'm telling you, it's in motion now. It's in that hermit energy of being very guarded, but not stopping the movement, being very guarded and progressing towards one another. Depending on what the Seven of Swords means for each and every one of you, you're definitely going to be guarded. I mean, who wouldn't be? 
but they're also coming in guarded. M as in Mike, U, R, E, Y, G, O, C, A, D as in dog, I, so we have every vowel. N, as in Nick. And S, the rest are repeats. All right, guys, so focus on the messages I just brought to you and what is popping up in this reading because what's about to come to you is a huge blessing in your life. You may be getting repeated text the way I am right now, and I apologize for that. But clearly, this person feels this union with you. They felt like it was too good to be true, depending on what kind of past they came from or experiences that they have in their life. You know, it, it was something that was overwhelming for them, emotional for them. But I feel like both of you have gone through a Phoenix Rising this ending, I feel like, was both very hard on each of you. Guys, I seriously apologize. I have no idea what's going on right now. The ending was hard on both of you. Very triggering. But you didn't let that get you down. You rose up. And now you're ready for what's coming towards you. And I feel like it's coming, like it says, a lot sooner than you expected. I do feel it's going to be a text message. Maybe a direct message. But they want union with you and you feel like it's a blessing, Sagittarius. Now, for those of you, it resonates and you may not see initials here that go with your name or their name. That's okay. This is just an additional clarifier for some. It's not always going to com completely resonate. So I try to make it as personal as possible when you need your own additional clarity the link to my Etsy shop is below. I wish you the best of luck. Have a great weekend and nothing less than love and light.